Hi, my name is Sean Mullen and thank you for watching this video. In this second video demonstration, I'd like to talk about how my career influences my art and how my art interacts with my work. The painting I'm doing here follows the first video demonstration. In that demonstration, it covered my thoughts on how to approach a blank canvas. I felt the theme of that sketch was worth exploring further and emphasising the feel of scale, but from a different perspective. In this sketch, I wanted to create the impression that the journey our character embarked upon is challenging but retaining the same elements from the first. I want to retain the same design language as the first, but explore different viewpoints to emphasise that scale more. For as long as I can recall, I have always drawn, and the inclination to be creative has always been the driving force in my life, whether professionally or personally. Drawing has always been central to my art. I'm happiest the most comfortable with pencil and paper. I would draw constantly copying photos or the drawings or paintings and the subject matter didn't matter. Painting, however, has always proven challenging and took the most time and focus to improve. I took art classes to help understand the application of colour, tone and value, the techniques of applying the paint, and I read countless theory books on colour and spent many hours practising. It wasn't until around 2004 that I started to explore digital art mainly out of interest, but also a lack of space for an easel. I really struggled to grasp digital medium, but the challenge of learning new tools and the methods and the technique used, I found interesting enough to keep practicing. I was inspired by artists such as Craig Mullins, whose digital art replicated and looked like traditional paint mediums. The depth and texture of his work is truly inspiring. It took several years and lots of hours of practice to start seeing any progress. The things which helped was an understanding that the theory and approach, whether using digital or analog mediums, remained the same. The techniques differ just as they differ from watercolour to oil. I've been an electrical engineer for the past 30 years within a variety of different industries, and art has always been my passion. And whilst I do take on illustration contracts, it is on the side of my professional career. Technology is another passion and understanding how things function and operate, plus the challenge of making them work is hugely rewarding. Going into a career in engineering instead of art was from opportunity and timing, but has proven to be just as creative and rewarding. My career and art are intertwined, each benefiting from the experiences and lessons gained which continue to influence how I approach problems. For work, I apply visual aesthetics to any presentation or report. This is driven from a natural desire to make things visually pleasing. I've also found that sketching and visual language help me communicate more effectively, learn new skills and retain more information than from just reading or listening to text. My art is also influenced by my career and the same logical analytical approach to complex problems I experience in work are applied especially during the design stages. Sometimes these experiences work cohesively together, but can also slow down or hinder my design process and I get stuck on the functional details instead of letting the creative process take its journey. The challenging aspect is the time investment in whatever hobby or passion we have. Intentionally making time is really important for me, but also taking advantage when inspiration strikes and scribbling a loose drawing that I can use later. The terms hobbyist or professional artist aren't titles or names that I personally relate to, as I don't see a creative distinction between the two other than generally one is reimbursed financially for the work produced. In my opinion, the skills, experience and the quality of the final produced piece isn't governed by whether a person works in the industry or produces art for themselves. Having a career outside of my art allows me the freedom and flexibility to produce art which interests me. I'm not bound by deadlines, creative decisions or restrictions and I have the fortunate position to select or decline offers to produce commercial work. On the flip side of that, I don't have the same time to invest in my art or my development. 
to collaborate with the team to improve technically and creatively, to be challenged in areas that I wouldn't normally place myself in. So there are playoffs to both. Something I'd like you to think about. Does being paid for your art make you an artist? And is creativity reserved only for career artists? I don't believe this to be true. Artistic expression can be found everywhere and doesn't have to conform or fit within specific guidelines. My passion for art didn't stop because I pursued a career in engineering, nor would I abandon my interest in engineering if I decided to dedicate my time to art. The sketch is now finished and so I'll end this video, but I hope in sharing my experiences as a non-career artist was helpful to some. Until next time, thank you for watching.